Hello guys, today we are going to talk about a memoir which I really enjoyed reading. It's by a woman called Jacqueline de Horthy, uh, P.T. de Horthy, my prodigal son, a child in trouble, a family ripped apart, the extraordinary story of a mother's love. Well, I bought this book a couple of days ago and I read it quickly and I really enjoyed reading it. Basically, it's about a woman called Jacqueline de Horthy. Okay. Her son is called Peter de Horthy, but his short name is P.T. de Horthy. So basically, Jacqueline de Horthy's son, Peter de Horthy, uh, they live in the United Kingdom, Britain, and her son is Brit uh, great, uh, Br great Britain's most notorious heroine addict. Okay, he uh, is a, a heroine addict and he's been taking drugs since a long time, I think around maybe uh, three years or something like that. Okay. Uh, apart from that, he goes in and out of rehab and he doesn't know what to do. He is in a very bad condition and his mother loves him very much. And she has expressed the love of, for her child in this memoir, in this book about how much she loves her and how she feels the pain that she has to go through and the pain that she has to go through because of her son being a drug addict. And all the miseries she has to go to. And by the way, this is a true story, I think. And I love reading it. Okay. And apart from that, she's Catholic. Uh, she goes to the church. She prays to Jesus and stuff like that. That's what her religion is. And apart from that, uh, apart from that, um, she, the, uh, her son is very famous as he he's part of a band where, where he plays music and he's very famous and he has a lot of fans who love him and care for him and uh, are there for him in the times of trouble. So they keep on communicating with him, all his fans, because he's basically part of a band which is very famous. Uh, and he has, a hundred, I think he has hundreds of fans who love him and support him and want to see him happy. That's what happens in the book, guys. And then the descriptions given about the United Kingdom, about life over there uh, in London or something like that, I don't know. That's what happens in the book, and uh, her it's it really her mother really um, uh, 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 loves him very much, and that's why she has to go through so much pain because of that. And uh, her mother really loves her, him, and he she has to go through a lot of pain because of that. And he calls she calls her um, uh, son's problem Peter problems, as his full name is Peter de Horthy. His full name is Peter de Horthy, but they, uh, she calls him uh, P.T. de Horthy as a short name. And uh, she, in, in the title of the book, it's written, My Prodigal Son, which means that her son, Peter de Horthy, is her prodigal son. And she loves him very much. Okay, and then what happens is that he, she travels to different countries and uh, he plays with snakes in Germany. And then his mother and he goes to Cairo, Egypt to see the pyramids. That's what happens in this book, guys. It was a lovely book and I loved reading it. And I kept on hoping that it would get better and better and it did get better. But the only problem I have is that it was really short. Uh, it was hardly uh, 300, 200, 200, 200. 239 pages long and I wanted it to be a long book so that I could enjoy it more but still I love this book and I want to read more books by the author it was an amazing read and um, um, how a mother has to suffer so much b because of her um, child's uh, drug addiction and about her his fans and about his life uh, and about all that stuff so it is um, maybe one of the best memoirs I've ever read in my life and I really enjoyed reading it. Okay, if you've read this book, do let me know guys uh, in the comments below and I hope you also like this book if you read it. Okay, bye guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye guys, do read this book. It's a lovely memoir.
and one of the best memoirs I've ever read. Bye, guys.